There's no information tonight in that Charlie's Steakhouse robbery to back up some of that information that we were telling you about earlier today. You remember the robbery happened late last night involving an assault with assault rifles and a guy jumping into the bay to get away. Our Jeff Butera is live at Charlie's Steakhouse in Tampa where employees are trying to get back to business as normal. When the sun went down Sunday night, Charlie's changed from one of America's top 10 steakhouses to basically the site of a raid. We got robbed. Robbed, Tampa police say, by three men who busted in the back door, punched a chef, hit a manager, and stole cash right after pointing an assault rifle at dishwasher Aurelio Carrillo Ruiz and two of his co-workers and telling him to lie on the ground. After they told me, look, just put, you know, get down, lay down, you know, I basically did what they told me. It hurt Jeff. General Manager Carl Parker to hear what happened. Here's what hurt worse. Was this an, an inside job, as, as they say? Yes. Tampa police say these are the three who tried to rob Charlie's. The man on the right, Rogelio Torres, works there. But he and the other two didn't get far. Police say they chased them down on Howard Franklin, caught all three, and got the money back. And late Monday afternoon, Tampa police arrested a fourth man, Edgar Colon, who also works here at Charlie's and was working last night. They say he gave inside information to the other three. Parker thinks it might have been a signal. When he left work last night, it might have been a sign for the other three to go in. When he walked out, the two bad guys that we didn't know walked in walked in and threatened the life of this dishwasher and two of his co-workers. All I remember is I'm, you know, I'm still alive, I'm still here, you know, I started thinking positive vibes, you know, 